This is just a basic DIY of sweeping a chimney and laying a coal fire. But I would like to add that I'm not a qualified chimney sweep. A qualified one can supply a certificate to say it's been done properly and your home insurance policy may insist that your chimney be swept annually to ensure it's actually covered by them. I wasn't actually planning to clean the chimney but seeing that all the soot is actually coming down the chimney on its own accord um, and then going onto the carpet I think maybe I should sweep the chimney. When I clean my chimney I use the following some rubber gloves, an old blanket and some old sheets, a hoover with some brush ends, gorilla tape and a set of drain rods and chimney brush. I like to wear disposable gloves when doing things like this. Soot is a very messy substance. So I put a nice blanket down on the floor, make sure no soot goes onto that. I clear everything off. I make sure that the TV, especially the PlayStation, is going to be covered with a blanket because I don't want any soot going inside the drive on that. I should imagine soot would kill that. So then remove the grate. And then I'm going to give everything a good hoovering, especially the stonework here, because I need to stick a cloth onto that. And if it's all covered in dust, it's not going to stick. I sort of give that. Use quite a hard brush I do on that. Try and get all that dust off there. So that should all be nice and clean now because I'm going to hang a cotton sheet over the entrance to the fireplace which I'll stick in place with some Gorilla Tape hence we don't want any dust so I'm going to try and hang this sheet in such a way that I actually have a little bit of slack in the middle because I want some slack where the drain rods are going to go into it. So I just get a rough idea where the sheet's going to go with a couple of little pieces like that. So it allows some slack in the middle. I then take that slack up like so, fold that. Now I can put the brush in first. So I cut a hole in the front where the drain rod will go through. And the smaller the hole, the better. So then I can put the griller tape all around the edge. And that will stop the soot coming down and going into the lounge. And the griller tape does stick really well. It's good stuff. I mean, there'll still be some dust on there, and yet that griller tape sticks. So what I do now is to just cut a small hole in the sheet, like so, and then the drain rods can go through that and be screwed straight onto the brush. So if you lift that up, you can just screw them onto the brush. Now these rods are screwed in, in a clockwise direction which is quite important that you remember that because you never want to undo it while it's in the chimney. So always turn the rods in a clockwise direction. So I just need to seal the bottom now of that sheet. See and there's my tail so I can put my clip on that tail and that will stop any soot coming through. I just put a heavy weight on the bottom of the sheet to stop any soot coming out the bottom. And we should be ready to start cleaning the chimney now. I 
So I get my buds ready. So get the brush at the start of the chimney. There we go. So now it's up into the actual chimney. And we can start putting the rods on. So, like I say, these screw in a clockwise direction. That's what the second rod. Third rod. Fourth rod. Fifth rod. Sixth. Trying to feel for it if it's gone out the chimney yet. Seventh. I should better feel it go up and then drop down onto the chimney. Not quite sure on that. So I've got eight rods. Oh, and there we are. Out the chimney. And then it will just drop down and sit on the top of the chimney. You can feel it. There. I'll just tie that off, just stop any soot coming down for the moment. As a child, when the chimney sweep visited, we always had to watch the brush come out of the chimney. So I thought I'd enlist the help of my wife, Debbie, to demonstrate this exciting part of cleaning a chimney. Can you go up then? Yeah, wave it, swing it around a bit. <laughs> Hang on. Come then. A bit higher, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then back down. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. As you can see, I don't think she wanted to stop. Now to bring the rods back in. As I bring them back down, I rotate them in a clockwise direction. It's really important you don't turn them the wrong way, as you could undo one of the rods and end up with the brush and some of the rods stuck up the chimney. You might then have to call your local chimney sweep out, which could be embarrassing to say the least. So as I bring the rods down, I rotate them in a clockwise direction and also try and just push up and down a bit as I bring each one down and then just remove each rod in turn. When I get down to the last rod, I try and give it a good little sweep around to the left and the right because you obviously get quite a bit of soot build up immediately above the fire so give that a good clean and then I'll let that rest a little bit I'll bring that down so once the brush is into the fireplace itself I'll just let the dust and soot settle a bit before I then start the clean up so we can unwind the brush now put the rods away and very gently Remove the cotton sheet. So you can see that Gorilla Tape's sticking there quite well to that. So there we have it. 
And it doesn't look like any of the soot escaped. So I just need to shovel this up very carefully without making any sudden movements. We don't want soot everywhere, especially when we've done such a clean job so far. And then this will need to go into a bag and be put into the household waste. We can then finish up with our hoover to get the rest of the soot up. And then we can put the fire grate back in with the ashtray. Jobs are good and just out of curiosity, I wonder how much soot there was from one season of burning coal and anthracite. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. Four hundred and sixty-three grams. The cleaning of the chimney seems to have gone all well, so now to lay in a coal fire the way I was taught as a child. So I was taught open up a newspaper and then screw it up in your hand like this and do like a little knot with it. Fill the fire with that. Speed that up a bit. And then we want to lay some nice thin dry kindling on that. And arrange it in such a way that the airflow can get in. So we do need plenty of air underneath to help the fire go. So don't smother it, just put it in nice and light. Follow this with small bits of coal. That's massive. Put that on last. You just want some small bits with plenty of surface area. Again, don't put too much on or you'll smother it. You want the fire to breathe. And now simply light the paper in a few places. So with the chimney all nice and clean now, we should get quite a nice draw on that. And the smoke should go straight up the chimney. And it seems to be doing quite nicely. That seems to be burning quite nicely. So we can put some larger pieces of coal on and maybe top it off with a bit of anthracite to keep the fire going. Thank you.
Thank you for watching and hope you found this informative.